Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to uh, March 3rd, 2019 and for that reading I'm going to use the traditional Reader Waite uh, tarot deck and now I'm shuffling the cards, um, reminding you once again guys that that is a general reading for a Virgo star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate uh, in a different level and in a different way with every single different Virgo because you guys are different from one another and uh, if you want a, a more personal touch on your situation meaning that your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video and there you're gonna find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you go for that, uh, for that option available, um, don't forget that till the end of February, uh, the prices of all of my services are uh, severely reduced to make myself accessible to more people in need and especially more people in a uh, financial struggle. So that being said, the spread also going to be on an enhanced tarot spread, meaning that I'm going to draw a additional card per position. I hope that I'm doing that one right. All right. So <clears throat> cards cut and uh, the first one which comes to you, Virgo, that is going to be a four card tarot spread. So the first card refers to the topic of your week that is going to be the Hermit. Funny, because uh, the Hermit, I don't know if you know that, guys, but the Hermit, it is the representative of Virgo. So that is the tarot card that represents Virgo, Virgo star sign. The second card that is going to be uh, the things that you should not do or how you should not approach this situation. And we do have the chariot, a little bit of a peculiar combination. I will explain you why. Uh, then what we do have... This is going to be uh, the things that you should do to stir your situation or rather what, how you should approach the situation itself. That is going to be the um, Eight of Swords. And uh, the last one, which is the cycle of growth ending or rather like the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot? This is going to be the Three of Wands. So these four, once again, we have the uh, Hermit, followed by the Chariot, then it is the Eight of Swords, and the final one, this is going to be the Tree of Wands. All right. So, uh, I will leave the cards now at my, uh, at my desk here, so I don't walk them in the air because it's uh, quite uncomfortable. And... Uh, well, Virgo, that is going to be a, a week where you are going to, how can I place it, severely improve your circumstances into your social environment, according at least to those cards. Uh, but uh, it is not because the social environment is going to correct itself towards you, but because you are going to correct yourself according to your social environment. In other words, um, these cards are pointing that you are going to recognize a certain things you do which does not contribute very well for getting along with your colleagues, with your partner into your relationship, uh, with your friends as well, or with your family, depending on what kind of people you are interacting with. So the first card that we do have, this is the Hermit, which is the topic of your week. And uh, yes, the, term, the Hermit, it does point to seclusion, isolation, and those kind of sort of stuff. But I don't hear people telling why, right? And the reason why you are going to... Um, isolate yourself and you are going to on your own accord are going to withdraw yourself from the world and from the ideas of others from some of your friends maybe you're going to take a couple of days off the relationship just so you can think because the hermit calls for great amounts of intelligence and also a wisdom that you can focus on what is substantial for yourself for your family for your well-being and so on and so forth 
for and especially in this case uh, focusing on what is substantial into the relationships you have with all of the people around you just like I said colleagues um, friends family and so on and so forth that's uh, that seclusion or that withdrawal is going to make you think <clears throat> in a sense of uh, that thinking over uh, why you have to argue for certain stuff or, or, or kind of like why you're facing difficulties into certain communications and etc etc so uh, what my point here really is is that you may you are to find out that some of the rangos you are having contribution into are worthless they they don't they don't stand for anything and therefore it is what you're going to analyze is that it is best for you to uh, resign yourself from them and just you know to admit to whatever the other side says rather than to proceed on further with the rango because first of all even if you don't believe in what you have to admit it will not have an impact upon your future and second of all it's just going to make peace with you with your situation with the person that you are tackling with and so on and so forth the hermit is about taking on a new path taking on a new road and making a, a new approach over a, uh, a certain enterprises into uh, into one world often related to that not many are going to support you through that uh, new taking should i say it that way which regards to situations involving people as we can see here in the rest of the cards but uh when it comes to a, a meaning excuse me meaning of which that as soon as you choose to resign you know some of those who are around you may not be agreed with you they, they may kind of encourage you to furthermore argue and uh, further infl uh, inflammating the uh the wrangles that you do have with the people around you but hermit asks for being humble I, I mean you gotta you gotta focus on the greater good that is the point with the card and as you are virgo and the card represents virgo probably you know what i mean uh, just to give you an, an example of that let's say that you are arguing with a friend over where to spend time in vacation all right and kind of like these wrangles escalates quite a lot so but you taking a withdrawal throughout that week you know stop seeing that friend of yours uh it's likely that the insight that's going to come to you through your intelligence and wisdom is that there is no point in arguing on arguing let them have the let, let them have it their way because if you're meant to be happy you're going to be happy regardless where you know you're gonna spend your time of vacation what i mean is that focusing on the substantial means focusing on the reason why you're doing it and not on the way how you're gonna do it or what means you're going to um need in order to do something either regarding career or either regarding relationship so it's uh, the card the card asks you to be smart very very smart and uh, in that case Simply, uh, what the hermit points is that at sometimes it is better to give up on certain positions so you can make your world much, much better place. And the accompanied card here, uh, this is going to be the Seven of Cups. And uh, we have a, a passive supporters as a, um, as a formation. And with the Seven of Cups, it will be very easy for you to discern what kind, which battles or which ways that you can take and make as an approach, either towards your marriage or either towards, um, you know, your career or friends and so on and so forth are going to uh, are going to work out. Basically, that is what is going to make uh, you uh, withdraw. For a while here from your social circle from your relationship and so on and so forth because uh, just for you to, just for yourself you know to make an um an analysis is it really worth leading these kind of conversations or it is best for me to say okay all right have it your way and uh, i think that the second the second one is going to be uh very very smart 
uh, from one standpoint uh, it's first is going to ground the situation itself instead of creating more uh, vague environment into it and uh, there won't be anyone is appointed disappointed from it uh, disappointed from it afterwards so uh, what you should not do throughout the week regarding to the topic and that is the chariot which is a completely the contrary of um, of what the hermit asked you so the chariot here points that you should not relate to your pride that is one thing the chariot is about being singular the chariot is about having your expression self-expression as a virtue meaning in that case uh, when you have an idea over something it is that you don't accept any other ideas and that is something that you should not do once again so for example if if we go with uh, the vacation thing here and uh, this card will represent your unyielding standpoint regarding the place you want to spend the vacation and the ultimatum you give that if it is not your place it's not going to be a vacation at all so we are having uh, some sort of a tenacity that you may incorporate into your relationships throughout the week or you are you will have the ability and maybe you're going to be prone to kind of like exert your iron, iron will and tenacity into uh, into your relationships and uh, with the chariot card unfortunately that could burn a lot of bridges that is some sort of a negative property of the chariot card where it's just you know some people will decide that, uh, that they will abandon you along the way and simply you will be forlorn and uh, for that reason it will be much better instead of you bruising um, for what you want over other people to try to empathize with them and uh, maybe a, a common ground can be achieved as well once again it all needs to come through intelligence and uh, wisdom i mean your propositions your standpoints and so on and so forth rather than from uh, stubbornness because the chariot in in these cases it kind of involves a lot of uh, a lot of stubbornness as a matter of fact to win against all odds you gotta be rather stubborn don't you so uh, a chariot card also asks you not to be way too premature in a sense of making decisions and especially when we talk about relationships here because these uh, these cards could refer in such a way that um, you may recognize which could be your uh, potential partner here throughout uh, throughout the week you know and that is if that's the case this is going to be person from your social circle and uh, the chariot here asks you not to be premature with jumping into such into such an endeavor but take rather more slow steps toward toward the end and toward the enterprise itself instead of being uh instead of rush the situation the accompanied card with the chariot that is going to be the magician and what we have here is passive neutrals so uh basically the magician asks you to be uh, to serve more as an, an example rather than as a tyrant right so have an, an example of humbleness or show an, an example of humbleness towards your colleagues and as well towards your social circle and what the magician asks you here as a uh, passive neutral is to try to communicate that is the key i mean a lot of communication being mad at someone um you know kind of like because they don't accept uh or because they're not agreed with your standpoint you being mad and kind of like stop talking with them give them a silent treatment and so on and so forth it's not the way you want to approach the situation simply it is best for you if you kind of open the um, the diplomacy path the diplomacy road and really rely on your uh, on your communicational skills to resolve the issues and to resolve the issue and to resolve the matter uh, also with the magician it is important um, as here as it comes here with uh, the chariot card uh, it's uh, rather important to uh, support whatever action you want to take uh, or you want to make with um, I don't know how you say it but with arguments 
and with proofs or rather like supported with convictions instead of being just empty actions what i'm trying to say is don't do things just because you want to do they need to be supported with certain wisdom and um, they need to, your actions need to have a layout okay so, i mean it's it's very important so people can see where you're coming from because they may have that difficulty the people around you may have that difficulty uh, for example uh if you perform into a project into your career and uh, other people are performing in there as well and you have a great idea for the project itself and you say we're gonna do that that and that and you're in a leadership position and they say well why we're gonna do it and you instead of explaining you say because i say so you know th this is what i mean you have to mm, you have to talk with people you need to explain to them where you're coming from you gotta be wiser than stubborn and uh, it is likely that if they cannot find a co common ground with you at least they will follow you that's uh, that's the thing here not everybody however with the hermit card not everybody only those who finds you um, effective and only those who finds you productive as well and uh, intelligent others who doesn't they will simply uh, they will simply detach from these cards but um, that should not uh, worry you at all because as we said at the end of this part that that week kind of like forms for you and shapes for you it's gonna lead you into a thing substantial in your life and uh, that will involve your social circle as well um, it's it's a very very broad reading uh, the way i uh, if i have to interpret it for myself i would say that there is something in me that pushes people back okay and i have to take time and think of what that thing is analyze it and stop doing it basically this is what that reading tells to me if i was virgo okay but this is again how i take on the things this is why i don't uh, give a lot of examples with myself well i do but only for scorpio so the, set, the third card that we do have for you, Virgo, that is going to be the uh, Eight of Swords. And this is how you should approach uh, the situation. And here we're talking about the recognition that should you face a, a uh, kind of like a dead end situation or a difficult situation with the social circle you have and with the people that you are tackling with, that situation is not in this shape because you haven't contributed into it what i mean is that you also have a, a finger in it to become to that way same thing like uh you know um having a uh, how can i place it having an unsuccessful marriage the both are guilty i mean your guilt may go if, if you know your your guilt may go just as far as you know you allowed yourself to be deceived and to be married but you still have a guilt that the marriage is unsuccessful you know maybe you you allow that person to deceive you in any way but still you did contribute to that it's it's in any kind of uh, interaction i mean one relationship breaks not just because it's only one person's fault it is because it's both person's faults as well and so on and so forth so what the point here with the eight of swords is to recognize that you do also have a, a contribution into those kind of interactions relationships with people that are not going very well because what the, the eight of swords really says is that if accepting the truth makes you free then what the denial of it makes you i i leave that answer to be answered by yourself and uh, the Eight of Swords also points to disruptions into communications, really, where one is stubborn and does not see beyond their point of view and their standpoint here, as the uh, woman is chained to the swords, really, which swords represents woman's ideas and standpoints, and she does not want to see, or she's incapable to see what goes beyond and uh, in order to overcome that you need to try to look outside of the box uh, consider an orthodox methods consider an orthodox ideas how to fix your marriage for example how to fix your relationships how to fix your 
projects as well. But the thing with the Eight of Swords is uh, the biggest thing that the card encourages you here is to try to resolve the issues in the communications because you can't. These trifles, because they are really trifles, can and should be overcome by being more elaborative and by being more diplomatic as well, being um, determined to sit in the table of negotiations and try to find, if not a common ground over a certain um, over a certain thing or an enterprise, well, at least a piece regarding it. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> and uh, as we said at the start that we do have pride involved with uh, the Chariot card, uh, the, the Nine of Swords here kind of like represents, well, the Nine of Swords represents fears, but in this case, it could represent, you know, the, uh, your, I could say your fear in a sense of that as soon as you recognize that there is some sort of a fault in you that things aren't going well, you know, people may abuse that thing and may make you feel um, despondent regarding it. Well, in reality, those fears needs I uh, once again need and should be overcome because otherwise, if you allow that fear to block you from expanding your vision and from seeing outside of the bo of the box, excuse me, then uh, the root of the matter, the real problem here, will become uh, will remain um, undiscovered, not just unresolved but undiscovered. So what we see here, the shade that the card adds is that the true core of the issue lies beyond your vision. It lies beyond your standpoint. So it is kind of understandable why if you watch that reading and you think what, what this guy is talking about, there is nothing wrong with me. I am perfect in anything, you know, in everything, excuse me. Well, we aren't guys. I mean, that is a, a, a universal law. If you are good at something, no matter how good you are, remember that in this world there is someone who is better than you. And there is someone else who is better than him as well. And someone else who is better than him as well. So yeah, we, we are humans. We do mistakes. And uh, that is the beauty of our nature. I mean, sometimes out of those mistakes, the most beautiful thing happens. So yeah, that week uh, is going to be a, a week where you have to recognize what you're doing wrong with interactions with other people. This is just as far as it goes for now, okay? And uh, from there to decide how to, how to fix that, how to correct that error. And once you do, then the thing substantial for yourself is going to start unfolding because this week could turn out, for example, that you need a new home, all right? You need a new home, and in your social circle, there is that really good, a um, how you call it in English, um, real estate agent. But beforehand, you had a really big arango, and now you don't talk with each other. So what you need to do to buy really an awesome home, because you know that this real estate agent can offer you, can make you a, a very, very good offer, well you got to rely on your communications. I mean, you got to put your private pride on the shelf and you have to apologize even if you don't think that you are right. So it's, it's kind of like making smart moves rather than stubborn moves, if I may express it that way. Uh, so yeah, pretty much this is as far as it goes, at least with the examples here and the conditions that uh, Taro has in a guidance to you and so what happens after you uh, fulfill that uh, we do have the tree of uh, the tree of wands so tree of wands is fantastic card of growth basically at the end of the week here we do having you sitting on a already established positions and established patterns solidifying your achievements realizing that although these achievements of yours that you made throughout the week with one mean or another are awesome, you can't go for more. I mean, you really can't go for more. Yeah, it's going to be quite challenging 
but that should not stop you at all because with the three of wands the improvement or rather the growth can go as far as you are capable of because the growth that the three of uh, wands is kind of manifesting is through challenges you got to but these are self-imposed challenges like you challenging yourself to make something and then make something new and then make something else different and so on and so forth this growth does not come on its own accord it is where you provoke it and you will be able to with the new means that you're gonna have from the people that you make peace with okay so uh and with the tree of wands as well it is likely that at the end of the week you're going to uh you can Ha, you will, excuse me, have a result which completely answers to your expectations as well. Following the uh, real estate agent thing, it seems that they will, at the end of the day, help you to find a really good home for yours. But should you approach the situation in the smart way rather than in the proud way or in the as well, you know, uh, stubborn way. But with the three of ones, yeah, your your results are completely going to match your uh, expectations. And also, the three of uh, the three of ones is about a lot of new fields to conquer. So that thing as well, I mean, all that process that you went through the week uh, is going to as well give you kind of new opportunities, which at that point are going to be just formed as an, an idea rather than something that can be straight away charged, uh, charged true. But in that case, three of uh, three of ones is about your ship coming on the harbor and you got to board it and boarding it could be a bit challenging, like I said, however, it will worth it big time a very positive uh, card about career by the way uh, if we're talking about your career with the three of ones it means that your creative expression truly is going to improve significantly the projects and the tasks in general that you're working upon and the accompanied card that we do have here uh, this is the king of um, the king of wands so what we do have is active supporters and uh, what that what this card adds here as a shade is that you will start enjoying life more and more uh, kind of like you're gonna start valuing the uh, the exhilarating moments of your life more and more your positive attitude toward the future in itself will uh will improve drastically and dramatically your belief will become more and more uh clamorous rather than gloomy and finally with the king of wands here it does seems that your ideas are going to be transformed into a very very powerful action so uh my final thoughts on the reading is that you do have a person around you that you're not in a very good terms with at that moment which can help you grow in a tremendous way and you gotta find an you gotta find an, an intelligent way to attract that person as your ally right because the hermit the hermit card ain't about pride it ain't about dignity it has nothing to do with it guys it has so everything to do with analyzing what you need and making the intelligent moves to obtain it even if that means that you have to say sorry when you don't know when you don't mean it because hermit is always focused for the thing for the end goal and not just the end goal but what is substantial for you and sometimes we have to go well most of the times we got to go out of our ways to really obtain the thing that it is essential for ourselves and substantial for the improvement of our lives. So that being said, Virgos, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, uh, that was a general reading and for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Virgo here. Uh, in this world because your situations are different but if you want more personal touch and your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards 
Uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And should you go for that option, uh, don't forget that to the end of February, all of the services are massively reduced to make myself uh, more accessible for the people in struggle and especially in a financial one. Rod signing out now. See you around. Bye.